Here we have a triangle that got split into four parts, into three triangles and one quadrilateral. We know the areas of three small triangles and we are asked to find the area of the quadrilateral. This problem and many problems like that could be solved by knowing one fact. So if I have a triangle, ABC in this case, and I split it into two triangles, by the side BD, I have a blue triangle and I have a pink triangle. The ratio of the areas of those two triangles equals to the ratio of the sides AD and CD. Now this is the fact. This fact is proven very, very easily. Notice that both of those two triangles have the same vertex B. So we're going to drop an altitude BE from that vertex, and that's going to be altitude or height for both of those triangles. And now we calculate the area of each of those triangles. So for the blue area, it's a half the height BE times the side AD. For the pink one, it's half same BE times the side CD. Okay. Now if I divide by 1 by the other one, uh, half B is going to cancel out and we're going to get our formula. So now let's remember this fact and use it here. Before we do this, uh, let's notice that we are trying to calculate the area of a quadrilateral. We don't know that much about quadrilaterals as we know about triangles. So the first order of business is to create triangles out of this quadrilateral. So for example, we can connect point D and E. In this case, whole area of the quadrilateral becomes the area of two triangles. Area on the top is Y, area on the bottom is Z. So, and first we're gonna do, we're gonna calculate the area Z, then we calculate area Y. So to find what the Z is, Notice that if I look at this purple triangle and this blue triangle, the ratio of the areas is the ratio of the sides DF and CF, and that is Z over 5. Now, the same DF over CF could be obtained if you look at these two triangles, the green and the peach triangles. Again, df over cf is going to be equal to 4 divided by 10. And now if you look here, we see on the left we have the same thing. So on the right we also have to have the same thing. Uh, we got an equation for z. We multiply this equation by 5 on both sides. We get our z equals to 2. Now I found z. Now we want to find what? First, let's consider this blue triangle and this pink triangle. So the ratio of the areas will be the ratio of the side BE and CE. The blue triangle has area Y, the pink triangle has area Z plus 5, right? And that's what we have here. But the same ratio of the sides B over C E could be obtained by taking the ratio of two other two triangles, this green triangle and this yellow triangle. So the area of the green triangle consists of areas of three triangles. So it's going to be 4 plus Z plus Y. The area of the yellow triangle will be 10 plus 5. And that's what we have here. And again, since the left-hand sides are the same, the right-hand side should be the same as well. So we're getting this equation for y. Since we know what z is, we substitute z there. We get an equation like this. Now we simply multiply both parts of this equation by 7 and by 15. That's what we're getting. Subtract 7y from both parts of this equation and divide both parts of this equation by 8 and that gives us y. Now remember we are looking for x which is sum of y and z so we just add y and z and we get the final answer of 725.